Hello, this is Tim DeLeon from Focus First, and this short tutorial is on how to read in lots of data into the visual pricing system. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial on a Mac, but it works the same way as, on, as it does on a PC. If there's any differences, I'll be sure to point them out. So what do I mean by lots of data? Well, lots of data means more data than what your MLS allows you to store in one file. Every MLS will restrict the number of records or the amount of data you can export at any one time. And there are some times when you may want to export more data than what your MLS allows you to export in one file. If that's the case, you can break up the data into multiple searches and export that data into multiple files. One easy way you can separate your results into smaller files is to export data based on MLS status. Take a look at this example. In this example, we have exported data from Fort Collins for properties priced above a million dollars. As you can see, based on how we've renamed the exported files, I've exported all the sold data in this file, all the withdrawn expired data in this file, and all the active, pending, and under contract data in this file. Now for this situation, I didn't really need to export all the data into multiple files since there really hasn't been that much activity for this situation and it does all export into one file. However, just for the purposes of this demo, I've broken them up into three different files. Please be aware that in most cases this should be unusual. As you may recall, we generally recommend that you export 50 to 100 data points when you do your search for neighborhood or area and most MLSs will allow you to export that very easy. However, in some situations you may want to export more data and the visual pricing system doesn't limit you to the amount of data you can read in. To read in multiple files, you will need to set the Enable Multiple Export File Read parameter. So let's show you where that parameter is. To see that parameter, you will need to bring up the Configuration menu. To get access to the Focus First menu items on the PC, go to the top menu items and select the Add-in menu. Once you select the Add-in menu, you'll see there's a Focus First drop-down right below there. If you click on Focus First, all the Focus First menu items will appear. On the Mac computer, to bring up the config, config dialog box, all you have to do is move your cursor over this area right here. You see the uh, message that pops up. Right-click and select Configure. Here's your configuration dialog box. Here's the Enable Multiple Export File Read. All you got to do is select that and now that parameter is set. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Now once you've selected the Enable Multiple Export File Read option, now when you've selected the Enable Multiple Export File Read option, when you select the Start Here button, you may be asked if you want to replace the current data or not. This is if you have data already in installed in the application. So this works really well if you have data installed and you want to read in some additional data and merge it with the existing data. In this case we don't, so we will select Replace. Once we do that, the data is cleared out and we can start to read in our files. So let's select our first file. Okay, the next file is ready to be read in. Yes, we do have some additional files. We'll select the next file. And yes, we do have one more file. Okay, we've done all our files, so we can select No here. You can see it now prompts us. It's read in all the data. It's merged it in together. Be aware that if you have duplicate records with the same MLS number, the program will keep the most recent MLS and delete the previous one. So let's go ahead and click Done. Okay, we've read in all the files that we need. All the data is now merged and the visual pricing graphs are completed based on the results of all three files put together. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to watch some of our other videos. And don't forget to press the like button below.